Hey everyone, please make a chat. And today I wanted to start a new series on this channel where I get to talk with you guys about what's happening in the VR AR industry, how that impacts developers, and just overall give you my opinion of what's going on. Now, I don't know how frequently we'll be able to do these, but I figured that I would start with something that's fresh and that I worked on, which is the Learn AR Kit program by Unity and Udacity. Now, as some of you may know, I currently contract at Udacity as a course developer. Now, what that means is that I basically write the curriculum from start to finish. And I usually like to keep my Fuse VR work and Udacity work separate. But in cases like this, I think it's really important to kind of talk about both of them. And ultimately, what we're trying to do is basically just push this industry forward by helping make VR and AR development a lot more accessible, which in turn means that more people are creating content which means there's more content for users to consume, which means that AR and VR can just take off. So that's the end goal, but obviously there's a lot of work to still get there. So now today, basically what I wanted to do was kind of talk about this program and kind of what the curriculum looks like and why I'm really excited that this exists. And I can't really talk about anything that's not public, but I can share clips of what students will actually be developing. So first off, we have to mention that this is done in collaboration with Unity. This is on the Unity blog, you can see this here. And it basically just kind of talks about why they're really excited about VR and AR and why they think that there needs to be a curriculum for this, which is why they partner with Udacity. And like I said, this is not only for AR, but also for VR as well. You see VR, here's AR kit, and then links to enroll. So let's just kind of go to that. So. Here is the Learn AR Kit landing page, and this is the trailer. I'll show that in a second. It actually makes me look really cool, which is why I'm super excited about this trailer. But let's go ahead and scroll down for a second and see a bunch more content, why AR Kit's cool. There's me. And this is the Unity AR Kit framework course, which talks about Unity. The, the way this a Learn AR Kit program is structured is that you can either go down Unity or Swift, whichever you feel more comfortable with. Obviously, you guys know if you're a veteran of this channel, that I really love Unity, so obviously I was the course lead on the Unity side. So this is the framework. You can go ahead and download the syllabus if you want. Um, it's basically broken down into two lessons that talk again about ARKit, and then you have a project at the end, which then leads to your certificate. We cover everything about ARKit, so that's starting from ARKit Remote all the way through each and every feature. And I think it's really comprehensive, which is why I really enjoyed building it and I'm really glad that something that comprehensive exists. It's something that I really can't do on YouTube um, and so I'm glad that we have something that can get people start to finish and starting to build AR kit with not only just knowing about these features but also thinking about the design implications that they need in order to make sure that they make the best possible decisions for the end user. So speaking of the trailer, let's go ahead and watch that. So. I'm not going to show you all of this. Again, links in the description if you want to watch it yourself. I recommend checking it out. This is probably my favorite clip. In the trailer, it's pretty short, but this is actually a pretty long video that we did within the curriculum. And you can see here, uh, it's sort of like it's done with AR kit. You can pause here and see that there are feature points. That's what I'm talking about. This video goes on to talk about plane detection next. Obviously, you can tell it's not AR kit because we're using the vertical walls here, which AR kit doesn't provide you with. But I think it's really cool to be talking about using quasi AR. I mean, it, it's everything here is done in post, but I think it still kind of feels like AR, which is cool. But effectively, what we're doing is kind of using AR to teach AR. And that to me is really, really exciting. And you don't see that in a lot of things where you can say, use math to teach math. That sometimes works, sometimes doesn't, but it works really well, well in the case of AR. So last, let me just kind of walk through the content that students will be building. It's broken down into two GitHub repos. Again, links in the description. I have to say that if you don't know ARKit, these course assets and the project probably aren't going to help you learn. You need the curriculum for that. But if you do, I think they're a really cool resource that, I mean, obviously you need to add some effort because obviously students would be uh, doing some of the work to actually complete these projects. But you can see here, um, this has two things. One is a, a simulation of water that you can place on planes. And another one is about 
placing magical hats in the world. The really cool part, I think, for me about this course was having this kind of magic theme because AR Kit really lets you kind of become like a magician, which I think is really, really awesome. And speaking of magic, here is the portal project. Again, you can get this off of GitHub. And let me show you now kind of what that portal project looks like. One of the standout demos that ARKit had was portals. And so we figured it just made a lot of sense to do that. So this is something I built, uh, not from scratch. Uh, this was, I kind of looked at a lot of resources and try, to try and figure out how to get this to work with ARKit. But it finally does. And I'm really excited that I got to be able to build this. I don't think that um, I would have worked on portals without kind of trying to build it for the curriculum. And so really glad I got that opportunity. And I think it came out really well. I'm excited for what students decide to build because portals allows you to have a lot of creative freedom about what the end product is gonna be. So that should be super exciting as well. So yeah, that pretty much does it for this video. Um, again, this is gonna be a pilot episode. Let us know what you think in the comments. Uh, I'm personally excited to do more of these. I just It's just a matter of what you guys want to see. So again, let me know in the comments. And that pretty much does it for this episode. This has been Fuse Man, and I'm signing out.